In this video, I'm gonna be breaking down one of the best Madden passing plays in the history of the game that nobody really runs anymore. And that is the Pat Sale out of the New England Patriots playbook. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody, and I just wanna welcome you to the channel. Our goal here is to help you and help myself get better every single day. So if you're looking to get better at the game, we do videos like this every single day. So if you wanna check it out, uh, hit the sub button down below. We've got a ton of content um, that we've been doing throughout this year. And I wanted to talk about today this concept out of the bunch uh pat sale and why you don't really see it anymore and why maybe you should uh, i think it's a lot better than people really give it credit for especially in madden 22 um, because it's a really good man beater really good zone beater and we're gonna show you why so what we want to do with this play is it's all about learning how to throw this route to mike evans it's one of the best routes in madden and it's been one of the best routes in madden every year but people um, don't really know how to throw it this year. And that's kind of where the rub is happening. It's where the problem is happening for most people. So what we want to do with this play is we want to block our tight end to give us some extra protection. And then from there, honestly, you can do whatever you want. Like if you want to, I mean, there's so much you could do. And we want to leave this fade to Godwin. And then we're just going to drag Scotty Miller. He's going to be kind of a playmaker option over the middle. Um, as our, He's basically our check down. And then we're just gonna motion him to the outside and we're going to give him as much space to run under the defense as possible. And against cover four drop, what you're gonna notice is that this fade is going to kinda, of, this, this is actually gonna be kind of, um, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. You have to kind of learn how to throw it against cover four, cover three, cover two. Um, and really the best thing that I have found with this, um, you can actually run this on either hash mark, to be honest. Um, what I have found with cover four, is a lot of times the cover four defense will actually dumb out um you can throw this ball right here and this is really i think the better place to throw it with the fade route what it does is it pulls all those zones back and so basically the user has to drop back to guard the the post every single time he basically has to use her the post route over the middle of the field so let's say for example that he doesn't if he doesn't you can throw this right here and you can aggressive catch it almost every single time and again you want to kind of again you know you're going to throw it in between the zones basically so you want to kind of like watch the safeties but now let's say that the uh the user goes to guard the post okay if the user goes to guard the post then what you're going to do is that's going to be right about the time that this little drag is going to come over the middle of the field so you're going to hit this drag with the playmaker up and you can throw this in between pretty much any zone in the game. It doesn't really matter what zone they're going to put out there. You can basically get this guy open against anything. So the next thing that you're going to get, and this is one of the more popular coverages that you'll see um, in, in Madden, is this cover three Mabel. We've all seen it. It's a double Mabel meta. This kills the double Mabel meta because the route is really designed to be a middle of the field attacking route. It's a high low over the middle of the field. And so what you're gonna notice against cover three is the same basic thing. That fade is gonna pull back those zones. You wanna aggressive catch it. Really important with this route, you must, must aggressive catch it if you're going over the middle of the field. And what a lot of times happen is you'll get dive catch animations that are really effective this year. Um, you'll get a lot of really good animations with this route. Okay, so the next thing that I want to show you with this route is, is what do you do um, if they come off of it? Because a lot of times that'll, that'll be what they'll do. They'll like lurk it and then they'll come off of it, make you hold the ball a little bit. You can throw this route basically, if you will, right here. And a lot of times you can aggressive catch that and cut it off. So that's another thing that you can do. Now I want to give you another setup in just a second that kind of is a little bit better for that situation. Um, but basically, and, and part of this is Brady Brady doesn't have the best release. If you have a, better, a little bit better of a release, like a Joe Namath release, you're going to be a little bit better with this route. Um, and like I said, you can hit it. What I like about it too is I can hit it. So I can hit it like right there and aggressive catch it every single time. Very simple. Now, another defense that is really popular this year is a double Mabel cover two with this user in the middle of the field, kind of like this. So the user is going to have to choose. Now we're just going to, you know, just, just to illustrate it, we're going to use the, the drag, okay? And what you'll see with this route to Mike Evans is it will get over the top of 30-yard cloud flats. 
So if you wait on this route, you want to throw it right about the number or the hash mark. And of course, Brady is killing me with his wind up. But if you throw it like right, like right when he's giving to the numbers, you can kind of get it over the top of this. Now, this route is, in my opinion, just a little bit better to the short side, which I'll cover that in just a second. We'll still get over all the zones. But anyways, let me just show you the post. Don't worry too much about the drag. You're just going to pass lead it up and to the outside here. And you see how it can kind of get over the top of that cloud. Now, the other thing that I want to show you in terms of the, the clear out ability of this is to use circle as a clear out. Now, this is what I like to do if I know that they're running like cover four a lot. And the reason I like this is because every zone is going to get pulled with this. So both zones on the right are going to get pulled back really, really far. And you see now I don't have to worry too much about Jair Alexander coming over the middle and making a play on this. I also have a playmaker hitch. What's really nice about this playmaker hitch is I can playmaker it right or I can playmaker it left or I can playmaker it up based off of what the defense does. So like in this example right here, I might just playmaker it straight up and you see I can throw it right into the deep you know, area of the field where their user has probably left because he's got a user that post pretty much all the way across the formation. Now the next thing I wanna show you is why I think this is really good on the short side of the field. And it's because this post route will get a little bit better um, separation to the sideline, or at least it'll just get over a little bit more. And it's really helpful for the double maple. So you'll see here, now this fade um, also is a little, a little bit better alignment for it. And so what you can see here is this fade will have a lot more ability to pull both stuff. I don't know how I just got absolutely a gap nano pressure from a you know max coverage. Welcome to Madden 22, I guess, um, just in terms of the practice mode. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and spy my D-line so that that doesn't happen again. But this is a double Mabel defense, okay? So what you'll see with this is this post to Mike Evans if you want you want to throw it like right at the numbers so right when he passes the numbers pass lead to the right you see that this route will keep going to the sideline and you can throw this over the top of every zone in the game now i didn't go over this yet but this is the next piece of this a lot of people in this game right now i mean i mean a lot of people are running man-to-man -man coverage and this is pretty decent for man-to-man -man coverage what we're going to do with the drag and then if you wanted to you could put the running back on a route but we're not I just want you to watch this post. Um, this fade is a really interesting route. A lot of times it can get over the top of the man, but notice that Mike Evans is gonna pretty consistently beat his man. And it's not just because the X Factor's activated. I'll I'll show you. Um, I'll just like, you know, throw it to him. Hopefully he'll drop it, yeah. Um, and I'll, I'll get his X Factor out of the way. And he's much slower. He's much, much slower than uh, Eric Stokes also. So what you'll see with this is a pretty decent little man beater to that post and then if you can really understand this drag route um how to throw it it can beat man too but you see that post is open if you want with the drag like if they're running a lot of man i would tell you if they're running a lot of man to man one one simple solution to the main coverage meta is to take your running back and you could put him on a, a, an out route you could actually run this C route to the right, um, or if you wanted to, you could run a, a slant. So just a simple motion slant uh, or a snap throw slant. See how it's a little bit of a man. You see that little man switch that we're getting right there? I think that's really unique. As you can see, he still beats man, of course, over the middle. So let me show you that one more time. So this is a man switch little glitch that you can do, especially if they're shading um, underneath and stuff. This can be pretty helpful uh, for man to man. It's the little trick of the trade. But all we're going to do is slant the running back. And typically, you'll see that that fade will actually glitch out the man coverage. Now I can just playmaker that up. And you see I can torch press man over the top for a one-play score. So pretty decent little man glitch that you can use with this. Um, if they're running a lot of man. If they're not running a lot of man, I would still recommend motioning him out. Uh, but if they're running a lot of man and you want something that's pretty unique to be able to kill man coverage from a max protect so you don't have to worry about any pressure, just slant this guy. You'll see they'll take the, that guy every time and then you're just going to playmaker him straight up and he's got, you know, obviously a ton of a ton of separation on the guy. Of course, Brady can't freaking throw to save his life, but as you can see, 
he's open and you don't have to you don't have to play maker you can just throw it too the purple zone is not really that good um at guarding the slant and i'll show you that real quick so like if i just wanted to throw the slant you'll see like he gets open right here i can just wait on it kind of get it over the top of him i don't know why he can't catch but you see he's open i mean he's wide open so you can kind of do do that um, another thing you can do, this fade is going to do this for any route that Miller's on. So let's say you, if you have like a high route master, let's say you put him on a crosser. Typically this will kill me in coverage as well. So you see, you can kind of do something like this and you see how good of a route that fade can be for the man coverage meta. So really good little man beater there. And again, you can kind of, you know, use it as you want. Um, the C route will beat man to man but I'm not gonna go over that today. That's gonna be a different setup for a different time. But like I said, this is really good for shade underneath because now their user basically has to say, you know, you get, I've gotta go user the slant, okay? I've gotta go user the slant. If I don't use the slant, nobody's going to. So the slant's gonna be a touchdown, okay? And then now look what you've got over the top. See how, good the, see how consistently this post route will beat man for you? So, I don't know. I just think this is one of the best plays in Madden history, and not very many people are using it anymore, and I think it's just as good this year as it's ever been, especially to the short side. You get the man switch glitches. You get uh, you still get over all of the zones. Um, match coverage is not going to do anything to guard this. Um, like I said, just one of my favorite plays in the game. So, I would recommend trying it out. Um, Pat Sale, I think, really underrated play this year, and... Um, if you want to learn more about the bunch offense, I've got a ton of resources in my Patreon membership. There'll be a link in the description if you want to go check that out. It's only $10 to sign up for the membership, get you access to all of our guides on offense and all our guides on defense and all our updates. You get everything just by becoming a member. So if you want to do that, you can click the link in the description and you can go sign up today for just 10 bucks at the main, at the uh, Patreon page.